Hello everyone. In last video, we did an overview of uh, different use cases of cloud app uh, security. In this video, I will demonstrate how to apply session based uh, conditional access using cloud app security. Normally in conditional access, we define conditions which once met grant access to those apps. But this uh, does not provide us control to apply what happens in the session once the access is granted. So using conditional access with cloud app security, we can also apply session based control where we audit actions in real time uh, performed by users in those apps and define session policies using which we can either uh, block download, block cut, copy, printing of sensitive docs uh, on unmanaged devices. We can label documents with the Azure information protection when downloaded or we can prevent upload of uh, non label docs. We can enable the scanning of files using Microsoft Threat Intelligence. We can monitor and log user actions. Uh, we can also block access to apps or block activities based on certain conditions. So we will see in a demo on how to do that. So how does this uh, session control works? For example, if user accesses an application with the URL called application.com. First of all, the user is authenticated by the identity provider. So that could be Azure AD or any other identity provider. So that identity provider redirects the session to Microsoft Cloud App Security by appending mcache.ms to the URL which user is trying to access. So in this case, application.com becomes application.com.mcache.ms. So once that is done, all the traffic goes through cloud app security where it is scanned for activities it is monitored and the policies are applied to it so this is a session control where we monitor the session and we apply the policies apart from that there is access control as well where we can block the access based on certain conditions so this session and access control it works with following kind of apps so any web app configured using SSO with SAML 2.0, Azure AD, or OpenID Connect authentication protocol works with the session control. Any on-premise app published using Azure App Proxy. So they these apps support session and access control both. When we will do the demo, we will see that there are different kind of policies. So one is session policy, the other is access policy. So the session policy will work only on these apps and the access policies can work on both of these Kind of apps by default Microsoft has onboarded these public apps which we can use for conditional access uh, cloud app security apart from this we can send the request to Microsoft to onboard any other public app with justification and then it would be Microsoft decision to onboard that or not we can also onboard any web-based LOB apps any non-featured SaaS apps or on-premise apps hosting using Azure App Proxy. Now let us go ahead and uh, jump into the demo. In this demo, we will apply the conditional access uh, policy, uh, session based policy on Exchange Online. This is my conditional access portal in Azure AD. So, Exchange Online is uh, one of the onboarded apps, so I do not have to onboard it. So, I simply need to create a conditional access policy which I have created here. So I have selected a user group which contains my user on which I want to apply this policy under cloud apps. I have selected O365 Exchange Online. Under conditions, I have selected only Windows devices. So I have excluded Android, iOS and Mac, but we can select that as well. Under grant, I haven't selected anything. I could select MFA here or any other criteria but I have left it blank under session I have selected use conditional access app and selected use custom policy that is all what needs to be done and now we will enable this uh, policy so the policy is saved now I will go to my cloud app security portal here I am in the cloud app security portal under here I will go to investigate connected apps then go to conditional access app control and I could see two apps here so Microsoft Teams is showing here because uh, for this I tested few days back 
so that is why it's uh, coming up here because I created a conditional access policy for this but now I have created a conditional access policy for exchange online and try to access it for a user so that is why it's showing me here and it's showing me some data as well like when I try to access it and from which location some information about the compliance uh, of uh, exchange online here it's showing me information about the activity log when I try to access it and alert. So right now I have only defined conditional access for Exchange Online to route it to Cloud App Security for any session controls, but I haven't defined any session policy. So to define that session policy, I go to Control and click on Policies and under Create Policies, I have option to create Access Policy or Session Policy. So we can create an access policy to allow or block access to this uh, exchange online or we can create a session policy to monitor the session so let us create a session policy here we have uh, templates which we can select so I'm going to select this template block cut copy paste based on real-time content inspection so I'm going to apply this template and rename it So here are the properties of this template that it's uh, medium severity DLP it will block the activity in the session and this is the rule so if the activity type equals to cut copy paste we can select print and send item as well on a device whose tag does not equal to Intune hybrid AD join or valid client certificate so we can apply this policy based on the device whether it's Intune compliant hybrid AD join or whether it contains a valid client certificate or not so for this valid client certificate we will have to go under settings we're gonna leave this page we'll go under device identification and here we can upload the certificate so if the certificate is found on that device then that policy will not apply so let us go back to that policy so this policy will not apply on uh, any of the Intune compliant hybrid Azure AD joined or valid client certificate device so this device is not an Intune compliant hybrid or has a valid certificate so I should not be able to perform these actions here under content inspection we can define some content and only when that is met the actions uh, would be blocked cut copy paste but I'm going to disable it and block everything once it's blocked do we want to customize a block message allow also notify the user by email so I'm not going to select any one of that and it's gonna generate an alert for each matching event in with the policies uh, severity if I go up here and I see that this uh, policy is applying to all the apps so I could add a filter here and select the app which is Microsoft Exchange Online so this will only apply to Microsoft Exchange Online similarly I could select here user as well to which user I want to apply this but I'm going to leave this uh, as it is and apply it to Exchange Online so already in conditional access policy in Azure AD I have selected my user so it's going to apply to him only so the session policy has been created and let us uh, try to access exchange online now by that user account now when I'm trying to access uh, exchange online by that user account I'm getting this message access to Microsoft exchange online is uh, monitored so do we want to continue or not so I will say continue to Microsoft exchange online and we could see that in the URL here it's uh, pending cache.ms in the presentation I told you it would be mcas.ms so I think that is incorrect so it is cas.ms here in exchange online if I click on any email and if I right click I do not get the option here to copy let me try creating a new message and see if I get the option to paste or not so in a new message if I select anything and right click I do not get the option to cut copy paste or anything so 
we see that our policy is being applied of the session control so that is how the session control policy is applied but if we want to apply access policy we can select an access policy and create it so it would be access control policy where we can block the access to the app so this is how you apply session based uh, conditional access using cloud app uh, security i hope you like this uh, video please like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye bye